Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Homemade and Homegrown. My name is Tammy, for those that don't know me. So today I am, well, I'm going to be in the garden, but I just have to get these eggs washed up and ready for Saturday. Um, that's usually when I have my customers come and pick up their eggs. So I need to get these guys ready. So I hope you can join me for today and uh, we'll have some fun together. Oh! What? What do you want? Oh. oh, what a gorgeous day it is today. Let me close this hand, this handheld. What are you barking at? Oh. A black crow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to my world. No, I can't ask for a better day. Look at this clear skies. Just, oh, we've had so much rain in the last week that I just feel waterlogged. <laughs> I'm going to head down here to the greenhouse. I got to get some flowers planted. I've been running late. Uh, this past week that we're currently in, I had my friend that I was talking about uh, come from Ontario and she and her husband got a chance to look at the property that they purchased. They are so excited. We're excited for them. We did get some clearing done. I didn't get any footage of it. I uh, honestly, I forgot my camera and, and yeah, I was just not thinking. But we got a few areas cleared or started, but then we found out after we decided to contact, because actually, let me rewind here. Um, some Most of the property, especially here in New Brunswick, is a lot of boulders. And because this was overgrown with tons of pine trees and birch and poplar, you name it. So they had to uh, really kind of think a little bit more about what they should be doing if we can do it by hand now mind you yeah some of it we most of it we could have done by hand but um to get the ground level and things like that no you need somebody to come in with a machine so we got them hooked up to an awesome company here and a local company support local right <laughs> local company and uh they came out and is going to give her a price so we're pretty excited about that i'm so excited too this week i lost 3.7 pounds yay me <laughs> my glasses are steaming up it's getting warm in here okay so like i said i got to uh, uh get some flowers started i managed to get some things started like my herbs as you know if you watched my previous videos so i'll let you see what's been coming up in the last few days okay so we've got some brussels sprouts peeking through right there uh, i just started some cucumbers and some bush beans right here oops right here so they haven't i just started them yesterday uh, there's some other cucumbers these are the ones that are going to climb up my trellis these are the long english cu cucumbers uh, so that's a vine type. What else do we got here? Tomatoes. Well, I planted some of the tomatoes and they haven't come up yet. We do got a little bit of echinacea starting to show. Uh, we got some mint starting to show. Oops. Mint and lavender. There's a few of them peeking through there, if you can see. Um, catnip, nothing. Yet. Oh, yep, maybe. Yep, right there. There's one coming up there. We've got some chamomile showing i am so happy where are we there we go so we got that we got some basil this is the cinnamon basil and then this is the uh genovese yeah genovese uh we got some calendula peek peeking through cory uh no calendula yeah there's two of them here chamomile and we've got some of the german chamomile it's peeking through. What else? What else? What else? Hmm. Sweet marjoram. They're starting to come through there too. A few of them. 
uh, my dill. That's awesome. So, and we got uh, some cabbage and a few broccoli. So I put four in each just to uh, get started. So I'm gonna be transferring, not not yet, because that's too young to transfer yet, but um, I gotta start making some more room for these for this shelf here. Okay, so we're doing awesome with some thyme. Look at that, the thyme is just coming up beautifully. And nothing yet with the peppers. Um, oh yes, I've got one. Oh my gosh, hallelujah. Um, I This right here, these what, two, four, six pots, um, I put new seeds in there yesterday. I don't know if I'm too late, but I ended up biting the bullet and going to the store and buying some pepper plants. So I need more and I'm probably going to go, actually I'm probably going to go today to get some. Just a little behind, but that's okay. I was uh, really happy to be able to... And, to help my girlfriend out this this uh, past weekend so but yeah in these peppers I put some more seeds in these trays there's four trays here so I'm really hoping that they'll pop up nothing yet with these cauliflower seeds so I hope that uh, I don't know I don't know what to say about that there's let me see one two three four trays of the cauliflower and yes I was going I was planning on uh, growing that much Cauliflower is probably the most vegetable that I, most popular vegetable that I eat. So, um, yeah. Anyway, and then I did buy a few different tomato plants here. And the one that I did get uh, was the early girl. I found that the last time that I grew early girl, it did really well here. So I'm like, oh, they're here, they're back. So I bought some more. Also, I planted my peppermint in here and I do see uh, some signs that are, you know, that they're coming up and that's awesome. So I'm really excited about that. I've got these bags of potatoes that I need to get in the ground. So this weekend, Joe and I are gonna be uh, tilling up a little bit of the uh, potato garden. So I've got two bags, which are three pounds each, I think. Two kilograms. Yeah, I think that's three pounds. Uh, two bags of reds and two bags of white potato. Oops. And they're already starting to to uh, sprout inside the bag, so i got to get them out there. And I can't remember if I already told you, but I purchased a peach tree. And I went to a local farmer that was growing uh, different types of trees. And I've always loved the willow tree, so I grabbed two. Planted one last year, which was a heck of a lot smaller than that. And it died on me. I thought, I'm going to get bigger trees and two. The last time I was in Ontario visiting, or the year before COVID started, my mother-in-law gave me some seeds and these cute little pink carnations. She gave me a bunch of her seeds, so I'm going to plant them this year. I'm just going to kind of randomly throw them around. They grow every year, so I don't know exactly what kind of uh, carnation it is. It's it's just a small little feathery-like flower, and I think it came from the Azores, where she's from. She's Portuguese, so uh, she just I think she just brought them back home from her home country and has been growing them ever since. I think she gave me some parsley... I think this is parsley. <laughs> it's written in Portuguese and I don't know. So, but I'm just going to uh, put it in a pot and see what happens. <laughs> and I put some lettuce and spinach in these little towers. So they're starting to show signs. I love it. Love it. Glad I'm seeing something there. Let's take a look at this other one. See if there's any signs coming up. This was old seed, so I wasn't sure if anything was gonna come up at all, really. Nothing yet, okay. Garlic's doing good. So much better than last year, oh my goodness. So 
so I'm happy. I did put the onions here. Not all of them survived, which I didn't think they would because they were so stringy and kind of weak. So anyway, last year, Joe and I um, planted 25 strawberry plants in here and I think I'm gonna have to move them because a lot of them are dying but uh, I think they're not getting enough sun so I have to move them to a better place which is unfortunate but this is how I'm learning what you know what's growing best in what area on my property and um, yeah it's given me a good learning experience plus the girls are digging in the, in here too so I got to get them out as you can see they pulled out the straw Okay, so because I've got a pretty big array of flowers, uh, seeds here, I'm going to take, I got these at the, my local dollar store, you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these up with the soil and just empty out each seed packet in one tray instead of having individual pods. I do got some lavender that I got to plant as well, but I've got forget-me-not, foxglove, cupid's dart. That's so pretty. Look at that. Cosmos, zinnias. I got some baby's breath, nasturtiums. Uh, I'm going to plant more echinacea too. We got some sunflower seeds, the mammoth ones, and then I've got some ornamental fall colors. So I got the mammoth, the one that grows like 15 feet tall again. Okay, and then I got these sunflower. This one's called Velvet Queen. That's gonna be really pretty. Got quite a few of the mammoth. I wanna be, I want my garden outside to be just circled with sunflowers. So let's start with, uh, this is a perennial. So yeah, and I tried to get as many perennials as I could. So obviously the zinnias and the cosmos, they're, they're um, annuals. And the sturgeons, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I better check before I say, but I thought they were annuals. Yeah, they are. Melva, and it's called Zabrina. This one's really pretty. So a lot of these flowers are probably gonna go around, you know, like, my flower or my uh, vegetable boxes and things like that just to bring those pollinators in and make the garden look really pretty sprinkle all these in now let's see doesn't seem like very many no i didn't think so not too many at all all right next one this soil that Joe got is just full of rocks. So I'm not too happy with that. Okay, let's go with the sunflowers. So the Velvet Queen. Uh, it's a sunflower black mammoth, 40 to 45 days. Can't wait. If you saw my video <clears throat> from last year of my mammoth sunflowers they were <laughs> i think they were probably about 16 feet high i've got my neighbor that's going to be coming not sure if it's going to be today or tomorrow with his tractor to um just to till up that garden that he opened up for me last year uh this is going to be probably the last year that i'm going to till it uh because i'm going to go with the no-till method i want to trans or transform yeah i want to transform the soil there we've got like really rocky sandy but clay like soil uh over here and uh yeah i need to i need to fix that and the only way is to do it god's way and how he feeds everything and he just lets you know everything break down on its own right do you like sunflowers absolutely love them start on the zinnias okay so these are different i've never seen this this kind of looks like chipped away uh, flakes of wood early sensation mix all 
Okay, I've got two left and then uh, I don't have any more of these and then I'm just using what I used last year. Went to the dollar store and grabbed these tin foil. What should we put in here now? Let's do the Cupid's dart. What's your favorite flower? Comment below. I've got so many, but I'm definitely loving the sunflower. Okay, I've never seen this before. I opened up the packet and the seed is in this little container. Like I said, I've never seen these little things. Foxglove Camelot Mix. So, I've got a couple or a few different uh, varieties of the nasturgeum. This one here is a tall climbing mix. I'm assuming it's going to need a trellis. Perennial uh, Columbine Long Spurred Mix. These look really pretty. Okay, very tiny seeds. Oh my word, like a mustard seed. These are black, so you can't see them. We're getting there. Okay, forget-me-nots. Indigo blue. This is a biannual. So I had to put a pause on things and go and get a little bit more soil. So I grabbed uh, three bags um, extra, the, the big ones. There's some little boxes that Joe had made. So I got to put some soil in those too to put these flowers in. Some some other flowers that I'm going to direct seed. Uh, so, but anyway, I've got everything done and I've just laid them out here for now until I can get them moved over to the other greenhouse um, after, I, after I'm done the video. So we're going to walk through to show you what we did. Just a recap. Okay, so we have Cosmos. We've got the, I've got two trays of the Sunflower Black Mammoth. Okay, and then we have the Velvet Queen Sunflower. That's going to be beautiful. And Melva uh, Zabrina, I think that's how you say it. Zabrina. Okay, and then we have Columbine Long Spurred mix and then we have Cupid's dart the Sun is very bright I can't tell if you if I'm focusing right okay then uh, we've got Holly Hollyhock and we have Fox glove and forget-me-nots now there was off-camera <laughs> I did some just separate some uh, cantaloupe and some watermelon crimson sweet for the watermelon so these are old seeds and I'm gonna try it I put four to five seeds in each one including the cantaloupe over there so yeah so we've got some great things happening. I also planted off camera spaghetti squash, zucchini just to get it started, and orange marigold and white marigolds. I also bought some lemon balm because I didn't know what it looked like. I never uh, I've never grown it before so even though I've got lemon balm here I want to see how it is and oh my gosh I just you just rub the leaf and smell it and it smells like lemon <laughs> so that was awesome so I just grabbed a couple just to see what they were so like I said I'm gonna plant more of the echinacea and I'm gonna direct seed the nasturtiums you're probably not even saying that right nasturgeon cosmos and zinnias so I'm gonna plant more of those and I've got two more packages of those uh, mammoth sunflowers so I'm gonna direct seed those and see if they'll come up and uh, what else do I got here? Oh, okra. I planted okra uh, 10 days ago. 
I think, yeah, I think it was 10 days ago. I put it in my first greenhouse here. And I went in today to water it and finally. There's one there. And then on this box, there's one there. So, so far we've got two. And my garlic chives, they came up good. I'll uh, probably take some of these in to use for my cooking. So I guess that's it for now, everybody. And I just water these little trees here, my peach tree and my two willow trees. And I'll let you go for now. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been fun. I've uh, This is my first year of actually growing my own flowers and things like that. So besides getting them out of nursery and putting them in my garden, but I've never actually started any seeds, like flowers from seed. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. Hope you had fun. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and come hang out with me. If you like this sort of content, be sure to hit that like button on the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the uh, notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Enjoy this beautiful day. I know I will and we will see you in the next video. Take care and God bless. Bye for now.